So in some ways, extensions and swinging arms are similar because they both involve taking your arms out into the space around you, as opposed to caresses in which you're physically touching your own body. For extensions, however, you're going to keep from your elbow to your shoulder in place while your forearm down to your fingertips move, as opposed to swinging arms where you're just stabilizing the shoulder and moving your entire arm. So for extension, your goal is going to be to hold the shoulder and elbow somewhere in space, and then you're going to extend from the elbow all the way down to the fingertips. Because of that, the preparation for extensions are really important for this type of styling because it sets the tone for where the rest of your arm is going to extend to. For example, if you want to take the arms out to the sides, you need to prep the arms so that the shoulders and the elbows are parallel to the floor first so that when you make the extension, the rest of the arms can follow and create that parallel line to the floor. If your elbow is not at the right height, let's say it's slightly lower, when you go to create the extension, because your extension is only from the forearm down, the forearm is at the mercy of where your upper arm is. So let's say you prepare here when you extend down, your arm will end up in a diagonal line. That's not necessarily wrong, you just want to make sure that you're intentionally creating the setup for your arms for the styling you want to do. So if you want parallel arms, you know how to get them there, and if you want them in that diagonal line, you also know how to achieve that. So to create the preparation, first thing we're going to do is focus on a little bit of hand and wrist movement. You're going to start by bringing your palms forward towards the front of your room, and then you're going to bring them up and around. As you do so, notice that your palms never shy away from the front of your room, which allows your elbows to come up. I'll do the same thing facing away from you. When you bring the elbows up, they should be in line with your shoulders or ever so slightly higher. Now you're in a good position here to extend the arms. Pop that middle finger and thumb down, and you should be in a nice parallel arm extension here. Let's say you wanted to take them down in an angle. Again, palms facing forward. This time you're going to bring the elbows out to the sides a little bit instead of all the way up. So here you'll want to choose however far into the angle you want to achieve the extension that you're looking for. Palms face the front of your room, and then they push down. Turning your wrists right at the end so that your hands face towards you, middle finger and thumb again extended. So again, we bring the arms up, palms face towards the front, and then extend down or to the sides, depending on what you want this to look like. So let's say you wanted to take the arms up. So first we'll bring the palms up, but for this one you cannot take the elbows up towards the ceiling. So from here, keep thinking of lifting the elbows first, and then palms stay flat, extend the arms up towards the ceiling. This is different than our swinging arm, where you would get the arm up by extending through the entire arm. If you need a refresher on swinging arms, I'll link the video above here. For this one, we take our elbows into a position first, and then we extend from there. So that's the simplest way to explain extensions. There are of course variations to that. For example, another way to take the arm up using an extension is to bring the hand in first towards your cheek. Again, we're going to move the elbow, but we're going to establish where we want to move first and then extend the arm from there. So we bring the arm in, back of the hand to cheek, bring the elbow out, we're establishing from where the elbow is in space. Now that the elbow is in position, straighten the arm by bringing the palm up towards the ceiling and then you get a nice straight arm here, shoulder dropping down away from the ear. Quick note about extensions up towards the ceiling, watch that you keep your palm flat as you press up till you get to the full extension and your arm is fully straightened and then style. It looks a little funny if you bring your fingers up like so. Another one would be to combine these two. Your left hand is going to come up to the shoulder and you'll extend the arm out to the side. So again, we bring the palm facing the front of our room, flip so that the palm is right in line with the shoulder and elbow, and then extend out to the side. You'll take the right arm in, back of the hand to cheek, elbow out to the side, bring the elbow closer to the body as you extend, palm stays flat until you style at the end. Now we'll combine both arms. We go one, two, three. Again, one, two, three. Now we'll try on the other side. So we have palm on the right hand, facing down, up towards the shoulder, and out. We have our left arm, back of the hand to cheek, elbow out, and extend the arm up, styling at the end. Now together, we go one, two, three. Again, one, two, three. One more time, one, two, three. Let's try these with music.
right, so we're going to start with just the arm styling first, and then we'll put it together with the footwork. We're going to take our right arm out on one, and then our left arm out. Both arms are going to go up. Okay, let's do the arms and the footwork together. We cross one, cross three, up five, six, seven. Again, and we go one, three, five, six, seven. Just the footwork. One, three, five, six, seven. Just the arms. One, three, five, six, seven. So just a reminder, you want to make sure your shoulders and your elbows are parallel to the floor so that when you take the arms out to the sides, they are parallel as well. Bring your backs of your hands to your cheeks, flat palms as you push straight up with your arms. Let's try that again. One, three, five, six, seven. Again, we go one, three, five, six, seven. From here, we're going to cross our left foot. One, two, three, mambo jazz, five, and six, seven as the hands slide down. Two, three, again, five, six, seven. All right, let's try just the styling. We go one with the right, three with the left, up five, six, seven. Hands behind the head, two, three, slide down to the hips, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, let's try the same thing. I'll do it facing you. One, three, five, six, seven. Hands behind three, down five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. And that's your right hand going behind the head. Just the footwork, three, five, six, seven, and cross two, we kick, five, and tap, seven, left turn, three, five, six, seven. All right, let's do it all together, five, six, seven, we go, one, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, and six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Seven. So just a quick note here, your left arm is going out to the side and not in front. But if you rotate your chest and you over rotate towards that left side as you're stepping in an angle, it'll look like you're going forward with the arm instead of to the side. But you really are going to the side still. So facing away from you, we go one, rotate that right shoulder back, left shoulder forward, two, and then that angle, it'll make you look like you're bringing that arm more forward than you really are, turning five, six, seven. From the top, five, six, seven, one, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, and six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's try that again. Five, six, seven, and one, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, and six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. So making sure that we're always preparing five, six, seven, we go one, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, and six to seven. Prepare the arms, two, three, five, six, seven.